In my last video, we learned how to do that manipulations using the slash and spread method. But in today's video, we'll be learning how to do that manipulations using the pivot method. Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Francisca and on this channel, I share pattern drafting tutorials, sewing tutorials, tips and sewing hacks. If you are new to this channel, welcome, welcome and welcome again. Please click the subscribe button, click the bell so you get updates whenever I upload a new video. And now let's dive into the tutorial process. In order to do that manipulations using the second method, which is the pivot method, you will need your basic bodice pattern and you also need another pattern paper, a plain pattern paper, okay? So what we are going to do is to place the bodice pattern directly on top of the paper. So before you go ahead and continue, you need to pin down the dart apex, making sure that this pin holds both your basic bodice and, you know, the pattern paper underneath. So I'll just go ahead and pin that down. If you have an owl, that's equally something you can use, okay? So I have this thumb tack that I am using. Now, what I'm going to do first is to determine where I want to transfer my dart to. So I have some lines marked at this side seam area, that's middle of the side seam area, armhole, mid shoulder, and mid neck, and mid neck line. So I'm going to be transferring the darts to just one place, just to, you know, show you how you can do this, okay? The first thing I'm going to do is to mark from this dart leg here to where I want to transfer the dart to, okay? So I'll just go on to trace from here all the way to this point. You need to make sure that your paper is stable. Do you understand? So I started from this dart leg here and I'll just continue to trace. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'll continue to trace like that and I'll continue to trace from here as well all the way to this point here okay so did you see what i did now the next thing we're going to do is to now rotate the bodies such that this second dart leg will meet where we marked the point here on the pattern paper so can you see this point here that is where this dart leg is so we want to move this other one here to meet that first one okay so once you have moved this second dart leg to where the first one was initially on this paper, place something on your pattern to hold it in place. What you're going to do now is to go on to trace the rest of your bodies. Okay, so I'm coming all the way to the center front. Then I'll go up the center front towards the neckline. I'll continue like that. Once I get here, I'll mark my neckline. So can you see what I'm doing? I'll mark my neckline, come right here, mark my shoulder slope, mark my armhole or draw my armhole following this pattern that we have here. Finish this up like this. And then what I'm going to do now is from where this armhole ends, I'm going to draw a straight line to where I said I was going to transfer the dart to, okay? So I'll just come like this and then go, you know, all the way to this point. Do you understand? So once you have done all those tracings, now you can go on to, you know, remove this bodies, okay? And they are going to have something like this. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to go ahead and use a marker to flesh, you know, this out so that it is much more visible for you guys. So guys, after fleshing this out, this is what I have. Remember that we have our dart apex point, which was created by this thumb tack, but you guys cannot see it. So I'm just going to mark that point on this pattern. So here is the point here. Now that I have marked that point, what I'm going to do is to connect from here all the way to this point here, connect from here all the way to this point here. Do you understand? In order to create our side dart that we have, you know, just transferred. So I'll just use a pencil for that, okay? I'll use a pencil for that. I don't usually connect my side dart all the way to my bust apex. Do you understand? So what I'm going to do is to come down by about 
one inch okay so i'll just go ahead now and mark that one inch in the middle of this dart do you understand so once i mark that one inch i'll get my ruler and draw from this point to that one inch that i've marked to create you know the new dart now that we have done this we're not going to go ahead and cut yet the next thing we need to do is to true the dart okay so that by the time we are sewing it everything will you know be aligned at the side seam of the bodies i've explained this to us in the throwing that video but i'll just go ahead and do it again is to go on to you know match this dart leg to this one right here i want my dart to be folded you know downwards but before i go on to fold my dart i'll use my tracing wheel to weaken this dart leg area so that it is easily foldable okay so I'll just go ahead and use that to make this part of the paper weak. And then I can now, you know, easily bend it. So can you see what I'm doing? After folding the darts, the next thing I'm going to do is to go on to run my tracing wheel from this part where we close the darts i'm going to run it all the way down like this the reason why i'm stopping here is because that is where the dart fold at the back stopped okay so that is why i'm stopping here and then what i'm going to do is to open up this dart again and go ahead and flesh out the indentations that my tracing wheel has made so i'll just go ahead and you know do that can you see and then I'll come right here and do the same thing. So this is how your bodies should look by the time you, you know, threw the dart at this point. And now I'll go on to, you know, cut off my new bodies pattern. Okay. So guys, here is my new body's pattern. Here is my center front. So you need to always label that. It's very, very important. And remember that your center front is always cut on fold. So make sure you label that so you don't make any mistake, okay? And when you're cutting on fabric, you can now decide to, you know, add your seam allowances all around, you know, where seam allowances need to be. So that's it guys for how to, you know, manipulate your darts using the pivot method. So I hope this was helpful to you. If you enjoyed this video, kindly give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, turn on the bell so you get updates when I post new videos. And I'm going to be seeing you guys in my next tutorial. Bye.